What's up guys and welcome, you are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So let's start this video with the long awaited physique update of Carlos Thomas Jr. One of the most incredible talents that came into the pro ranks just a few years ago. Now if it wasn't for his stomach issue, Carlos Thomas Jr. would have done at least 3-4 shows in the last 2 years. But unfortunately, he has been dropping out of them. And the most heart wrenching thing is that he goes to 80% of the prep and then something happens. So this is the first off-season physique update from Carlos Thomas Jr. After he decided to skip the entire 2024 season and take this entire time and focus on his back and bringing up his weakest body part and he is gonna return to the stage sometime next year. He might do the Arnold in Ohio which is happening in March and that is gonna be a great show for him to make a very strong comeback. And I have to say that is gonna be so cool because this guy needs a lot of exposure especially against the best of the best. And Arnold 2025 for sure is gonna be one of the best shows of the year. So far he has done only one pro show and that was Texas Pro last year where he also had this great opportunity to stand next to guys like Andrew Jack and Hunter Lebron. And actually that was the show that made us all realize that Carlos isn't gonna be that guy with the most thin skin or with the most amount of detail on the stage. But we also realized that his proportions are just mind blowing. One of the best in the men's open at the moment and that was a very impressive pro debut by him. So it is all gonna come down to how much improvements can he made especially in his back in this offseason. Because as of right now, that is the only weakness that Carlos has and if he can bring up his back, he is gonna be a force to be reckoned with in the future. He has the muscle bellies, he has everything to be, how can we not have him in the top six? Next up, we have an update from the former Miss Olympia Brandon Carey. And finally, he's getting some respect. The respect that he deserves as the former Miss Olympia. And this time, it is from Dennis James, who was the one who raised this very valid question. That a guy who hasn't been outside of the top four since 2019, for five years now, all of a sudden people have him in the seventh or eighth or some even ninth, based on the statement made by his former coach, Abdullah, that Brandon was looking very small and very soft throughout this offseason and he also said that he's looking as small as Chris Cormier at 14 weeks out of this year's Miss Olympia. So can we really take his words for it? That's disrespectful. Yeah, because they haven't <laughs> seen him and then uh, you know kind of... He... Yeah but he's been here the last five six you years. You heard Abdullah that he looks like a man's physique. Yeah but that's, that's Abdullah. We, we can't go by what Abdullah said eight weeks ago. I mean... Because if everything goes smoothly for Brandon Carey during this year's Olympia prep, there is just no reason that he doesn't show up much better than what we saw at last year's Miss Olympia. I mean that guy was in the hospital just 48 hours prior to the Olympia last year. There was no proper cops loading and still he managed to pull off a fourth place finish, beating a guy like Andrew Jack at the biggest bodybuilding show in the world. So that says a lot about Curry's potential. So Brandon has those crazy round muscle bellies. The man is 3D all day long. Especially when it comes to his upper half, he probably has one of the best upper body in the men's open. And yes, he doesn't have the biggest legs, but still he was able to win the Olympia title with those same legs. Now I get that the Olympia 2019 lineup, that wasn't the best, but Hadi Chopin was also in that competition. And as for Hadi, that was one of the best looks of his career. And still Brandon was able to beat him. So not only just that, he plays runner up twice at the Olympia afterwards. So let's just not underestimate Brandon Carey and wait for him to show up at this year's Miss Olympia. So this will also be the first prep of his career where we did not see a single physique update from him. So the anticipation is real. This is Blessing Avudibu weighing 320 pounds and the man is looking so damn massive. So Blessing has been pushing for quite a few months now and the offseason doesn't end here as Blessing is aiming to compete sometime next year. So if this offseason, which is gonna be like 16 months long, if that doesn't grow his quads, if he is still unable to bring up his legs, then I'm afraid there is little to no hope. Blessing has got an amazing upper half, big, round and fuller looking muscle bellies and that is why he was so confident when he was about to make his Olympia debut that he can be top 6 back in 2022 Olympia lineup. And I have to say that was being totally delusional and he did learn his lesson the hard way. But considering that Blessing hasn't been this heavy at any point during his career, he's pushing crazy model weights and most importantly, he is extremely motivated to win a pro show next year and get back to the Olympia stage. So even if Blessing is successful in making little improvements in his legs 
and from the both sides, front and back. I believe he can win a pro show, depending on who shows up there, because the man does have the tools. Nobody picked him better than George Farah at Indy Pro and the New York Pro back in 2022, and I don't think he should have split up with him. Based on just one bad showing, you didn't that year, but it is what it is. So expect Blessing to hit issue sometime in summer in 2025. So two classic physique updates are next. One of them is my personal favorite in classic physique category. Brian Chen, less than two weeks out of this year's Miss Olympia. Now I must say that he isn't placing top 10 at the Olympia level. That is because of his back. Because if we compare his back double biceps from 2019 versus now in 2024. Now he did make some improvements. His hamstrings got bigger as well as thicker. But that is still not a back that can keep up with the boys at the top level especially his upper half, that still needs a lot of work. So Branch took the world of bodybuilding by surprise back in 2019 when he made his Olympia debut and placed top 5. And that is the thing, to thrive in classic physique, you need to evolve just like Seabum did after 2019. That 2019 version of Seabum, that would not have been able to win the Olympia against Ramundino last year. And even Seabum himself admits that. So Branch Chen is one of the most beautiful physiques in the entire classic physique division. He has that trademark crucifix pose, kicks right at chest. So let's see how the veteran of classic does against these new guys. So Logan Franklin is the other guy I want to mention here. Put him in that tall guy category, above 6 feet tall, and the waist is looking very impressive for his height. So if this is him, on the flat side, then I for one cannot wait to see him all carved up, because even in that daylights, he looks absolutely insane. So all of his progress pictures that we have seen throughout this year's Olympia prep, that will make you believe that the man has already surpassed his personal best. And I must give credit to his coach, Patrick Tour, because he truly knows his stuff. So this will be Logan's first time competing against the likes of Orskleshinsky and Ramondino. So he has competed against Wesley, and that was back at the Olympia 2020, and he was able to beat him that year. So over 60 guys, in the classic physique division. So even if you miss just by a little bit, the judges will for surely drop you down. And that too in just a blink of an eye. So Logan at his all time best conditioning. That will be very interesting to see. All these guys look so damn great standing alone, all by themselves. So how will his aesthetics look? Next to the top guys at this year's Miss Olympia. Now that is the real question. So next up we have a 2 weeks old physique update from Juan Morale. So no matter how much money Juan has been making since he started his business, there is that famous quote that once a bodybuilder, always a bodybuilder. So he must miss that adrenaline rush, that excitement of standing on a bodybuilding stage and even the Olympia stage. So Juan won a total of 7 shows in his career and he also won the prestigious New York Pro. So he is also one of those bodybuilders who could have won a lot more shows. If only his legs were bigger, especially as big as his upper half. So the man in his prime, he looked absolutely crazy. His upper half was just so vascular and so grainy. So he had great chest and amazing shoulders. And still the man has decent looking chest, even years after retirement. So his last competition, that was the Olympia 2020. And he just did not place well at that show. And he made this timely decision to walk away from the competitive side of bodybuilding with his health intact. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.